everyone. Today we will be evaluating geometric series in sigma notation. So we have an example right here. We are given a sigma notation and we want to evaluate this. Evaluating sigma notation means what is the sum of this geometric um, series right here. So the first step that we are going to do is to find the, uh, we're going to list them all out so we can see a better picture of what these numbers are that are contained in this sigma notation. So I'm going to go ahead and write, um, since there are seven of them, so I'm going to write seven blanks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did seven blanks. And the next thing that I'm going to do is to put in numbers in here. So I'm going to start with five. So that's the first term. And then since we say that it is multiple uh, in the multiplier is two, so I go 10. 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, then we go ahead and say 80 times 2 is 160, times 2 is 320, okay? So the next task that we are going to do is to find, again, I, I, I got these numbers by multiplying it by 2, that's the R right there, that's the multiplier. The next thing that we're going to do is to evaluate this, what is the sum for all of these? So the first thing that we're going to do is to use the equation, so the equation for S sub N is equal to, again, if you want to know how we got this equation, please, um, I will put the, uh, the, the link of the video in the description box below, so that is A sub 1, times 1 minus r to the power n, and then that is 1 minus r. So then our first term here is, so we, we plug in the values, so the first term is 5, and then times 1 minus our r multiplier is 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the power 7 over 1 minus, again, that's a 2 for our multiplier. So then we simplify this 2 to the power 7. So that would be 5 times 1 minus 2 to the power 7. If you use the calculator, that would be 128. And then that is 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. Simplifying this further, this would give us 5 times negative 127 over negative one and then if we do all the math here this should come out 635 this is the sum of this 635 now let's check using the calculator we add all of these um together so let's see what that is so 5 plus 10 so i'm going to show the work over here so that is 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40, plus 80, plus 160, plus 320. And the answer is 635. Okay, what I would want you to do is I would encourage you to pause the video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so let's get started. So let's see if you get the same answer as this. So first thing that we're gonna do is to write this all out, just like how we did it on the first one. So there, there are five blanks that we're gonna create. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So I created five blanks. And what are we gonna put on the blanks would be, this is the first term, so I'm gonna write 20. And then please remember that the um, multiplier is one-fourth. That means that we are supposed to multiply each of these by one-fourth, multiply this by one-fourth, multiply this by one-fourth, and multiply this by one-fourth. Okay, so 20 times one-fourth is 5, and then 5 times one-fourth is 5 over fourth, 5 times 1 fourth is 5 over 16. 5 times 1 fourth is 5 over 64. Okay, our next task is to find for the sum. So just like the equation that we did in the first example. So the S of S sub N, since this is a finite geometric series all the way to 5. So we go ahead and write the, form, uh, write the, uh, the numbers that we put into the formulas. A sub 1 is 20. 
I write 20 times 1 minus r. Our r is 1 fourth. And then this is to the power n. So our n here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I raise this to the power 5. And this is over 1 minus r, which is 1 fourth. So the next thing that we're going to do is to simplify this. So this would be um, 20. Um, so put the there so that's 1 minus 1 to the fifth power is 1 over 4 to the fifth powers so if you do it on the calculator that's 1024 okay and that is 1 minus 1 fourth now in this problem right here we don't have the same um we don't have the same denominator, so then we are going to simplify this. So since they don't have they don't have the same denominator, so that means I am going to multiply each of these by. So I'm just going to multiply this by ten twenty four, and I'm going to multiply it with a uh, bottom number of ten twenty four. And then this one right here, they don't have the same denominator, so that is uh, I multiply this by. 4 over 4 to make them the same. So then our equation would come out to be 20. Oops. So um, our equation would come out 20. And then parentheses, 1024 minus 1 is 1023 over 1024 and 1024. We keep it. So that is 1024 divided by 4 minus 1 is 3 over 4 and 4 will be kept. So then we multiply across. Remember that this is this one has an invisible denominator of 1. So you mul we are multiplying the 20 and the 1023. So this would come out 20,460 over that is uh, 1024 times 1 is 1024 times we flip this and multiply across. So this should come out um, 4 over 3. So we're going to simplify this. Uh, 20,460 uh, 20, times 4 is 81,840 over 1024 times 3 is 3072. Please use your calculator to sim simplify those. And then we can still simplify this far. This is divisible by 48. So this is divisible by 48. I can go ahead and write, divide this by 48, divide this by 48. So then the final answer for this is 1,705 over 64. So oh, that's over 64. And this is our final answer right here. So that's the one that I'm going to write over here, that if we add all of them, that is equal to 1705 over 64. That's the final answer. Now, others are going to say, how do we check if we got it right? So what are we going to do is we put these numbers in. So I'll put it, I'll, uh, I'll put it in here. So that would be we start with um, 20 plus 5 plus 5 divided by 4 plus 5 divided by 16 plus 5 divided by 64. So that is our answer right there. Now, if we divide this two together, 1705 divided by 64, the answer is a match. So this is the decimal version. This is the fraction version. But I want you to do the fraction version each time. Now let's have the last example here. So as you can see, this is an example of an infinite geometric series because we see that um, it has uh, this infinite symbol on top. They're pretty much the same thing, but the top here, it, does, it doesn't stop on five, but it, it goes infinity. So we write this out first. So we, it's still the same thing. So we can go ahead and say 20 plus five plus five over four. After the third term, you can go ahead and write three more dots. That means it's not gonna end. So the formula <clears throat> to solve for the sum for an infinite geometric um, series is a sub one over one minus r. So in this case, our a sub one is 20 divided by one 
minus, again, it's one fourth for our R, since they don't have the same denominator, so I multiply this by four over four, so then our equation would come out to be 20 over four minus uh, one is three over four, so then this would um, come out to be um, 20 times four over three, so 20 times four is 80 over three. And this is our sum for this infinite geometric um, series. So I go ahead and write 80 over three as our answer to this. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.